Okay, attempt number two. Thank you, TV inputs, for not working. There we go. That's much better. All right. Yeah. I saved this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here. This is where I was before, right? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> what is that song you said, Adam? I should have told you about the toxin! Ray. You have a strong sense of responsibility, I know. That's why you decided to shoulder the burden alone. No, that's not at all! I was just... I was scared of my family coming in like that's all. So I helped to retrieve some of the substance from the English one before anyone else found out. Before the trial started, the team everybody is dead, decided... They had no doubt in my mind that my... by my actions. They had stand by me until the last... I remember. And then I... I didn't deserve your trust in me. I didn't point details for you, Susano. Completely betrayed your faith in me. Hit me, Susano! I deserve it! No fair! Somebody on the floor! Okay, Susano take down? Okay, cool. No, that's too good for me as well. Drag me to the city streets! I don't think she can do that. I'm not better, you know. Oh! You know my heart knew you'd pull the knife play from Miss Brett's back. It was just a brief moment when, in my mind, I doubted you. Susano! I'm sorry. But I studied and promised you that I'd stand by you and always be on your side. Betray your faith in me, too. And as such, I have failed you as a lawyer. <laughs> I think this situation has taught both of you a valuable lesson. Placing your unbridled faith in another is no easy task. Yes, Father. In fact, I certainly struck home. Just why I can see more clearly now. So, Ray. Yes! Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Oh, no. How's this, Sato? You know you're always being a gallant, dashing boy in my eyes now. Oh, Ray. I was so scared, you know, when it happened. I didn't know what was going on. The English one was sitting at the back of the hut, listening to what I was saying. I know it was you who stole the poison. What? Oh no, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. I know it's yourself the poison. Wow, now, what are you doing mean? And then a moment later, she suddenly got to her feet. Before collapsing on the floor in front of me, with a knife in her back. Stabby, stabby. It all happened right before my eyes. And you were the only people in the hut at the time. That's right. Just Miss Brett and myself. There was no one else. So I don't understand how she could possibly have been stabbed like that. Hmm. A great mystery, indeed. I still can't believe it happened. That's why I just couldn't bring myself to speak up. He'll be alright. However it happened, whatever really went on by the sea that day. I promise you, that I'll get proof of everything you saw you saw is true. Spoken like a true Mikitoba. No. I think we should discuss what's coming up in the trial, don't you? You don't have much time. We must make sure we have our facts in order. Yes. I expect the poison is going to come under close scrutiny in the upcoming proceedings. The police should hopefully have identified you know, by, on the blade right now. Truth is, it's a completely new laboratory. Synthesized blend of alkaloids. What? The police will have a way of testing for it. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I see. So it's updated from the last time we saw it. Yes, with other chemical region, it's impossible to detect the toxin. Chemical regions? 
I sent a colleague of mine off with some earlier to deliver to police headquarters. I think perhaps you should have some as well, though, just in case. Oh, cool, thank you. What's the matter, Susano? You're suddenly very quiet. It's a newspaper article. Exclusive! Deadly poison stolen from Humane Medical Research Laboratory. I wonder how, what, how the research got out, given that it was a government secret. Who's off? The English woman's doing! <gasps> That's what the professor and Sasaki said! We're being interviewed at the laboratory! That's so called English lady swanned in! They <laughs> get it? Swanned in! Because she had a swan on her head? <laughs> If there was any compunction sent to Professor Migatova. Oh, Professor, surely your guest would love to hear about your work on the, the substance there. You put me in a very awkward position, to be frank. Mr. Saki's son's curiosity has been beat, so I had a little choice but to give him a cur cursory introduction. So then, Mr. Saki's son knew about the poison. Yes, it's highly likely that the reporter who was writing up the story about us would have caught a glimpse of the toxin too. This many men of many memo son, many memo son. By the way, did the reporter join you all, all, all when you went to the beach? Huh? No, I don't remember the reporter being there. Indeed, he shouldn't have been. I very much doubt anyone would have wanted him there. A known criminal has had given a known criminal has been given permission by the authorities to bathe by the seaside. So Sakisan pointed out that inviting a reporter might be problematic, so the man was sent back to his office. He obviously didn't have to go back. He secretly followed the party to the beach and took this very candid photo. Presumably he posted it anonymously to the police. Yes, that must be what happened. Cancel! We've just heard that the new witness is now ready to testify. The trial is about to resume. Please proceed to the courtroom at once. It's time to steal ourselves once again, then. Defense attorney Ryotaro Naruhuro. Yes! put her face in me now and, and told me everything so I can't let her down I have to prove what she's telling the court is true I have to prove what really happened that day hmm get back to the courts hopefully they can actually finish the case this day I didn't they're pulling an all-nighter to finish case two Oh, okay, case one on the second stream. That was that was a long night. I hear my call this court to order as we reconvene to continue the trial of Ray Mambami. Prosecutor Ouchie, have you summoned the new witness? Before I address that question, Your Excellency, I have some very important news to share. Oh? What news? Why does he look so happy about it? Uh oh. During the recess with the co collaboration of Professor Mikatoma's laboratory in the university, the police re examined the knife that was used to end Miss Giselle's Brit's life. Excellent. I might be a rapid handling on the matter. Oh, too kind, Your Excellency, too kind. That was merely carrying out your instructions, of course. I had the region delivered to the police headquarters by Rick Shaw, so we'll be there in good time. But judging by the man's swagger, I feel we might need to brace ourselves for the inevitable. The council, what were the results? This dagger, which was so cruelly used to end the life of the victim, has no trace of poison anywhere along its blade. Damn it. What? You sure about that? 
I would stake the reputation of the police on it. I'm with the regent. The test is extremely simple. They couldn't have made a mistake. Ah! Why, why are we just now getting the murder weapon? <laughs> like it was just called the murder weapon. It's not even. It's not even just a, a knife. In short, the accused feeble excuse area has been utterly destroyed. <gasps> Now the prosecution is ready to call a new witness. Ah, the newspaper reporter who managed to capture a photograph of the crucial moment. Good. Very well, officer. Bring in the witness. A trace of poison on a knife. But if that's really the case... How could the toxin end in the victim's body? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's sure enough, it is that guy from earlier. What is place that you name an occupation for the court? Right then, Mimimo, of the show your news. I, 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 I'm what you people like to call a journal. What's a journal, father? Do you know? It's simple a contraction. It's simply a contraction of journalists. I'm there when the news breaks. Putting pen to paper on the catchy scoops that they imprint the next month. You don't call me the header, header for nothing. The nice guy of news. What is this music? I'm gonna listen to this for a little bit, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, man. it was you who took this photograph, was it? Well, and where? What would we have here? I'm... I'm sorry? Oh, brace yourselves, people! Memo says it's a scoop in the offing. Oh, no. Fima stood up to family, defending... Defended by curious, the handsome young lawyer in Supreme Court. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Whew. The reason we're left to step by step up on the forward in 72 point... And a five like film in the morning for the morning edition. Jeez, you're crazier than Lada. Huh? Right then. Let's start with your name. Oh, um it's Ryotar and I heard of. Next. What made you want to become a lawyer? <laughs> well, um I wanted to reform our country's legal system, I suppose. Ryotar has suddenly become very ambitious, I see. I just borrowed Cosmos time his dream for a while. By the way, my name is Takasuchi Auchi. That's Takasuchi Auchi. The so-called dark house of the Supreme Court by objection district feared every defense lawyer's heart. Big doubt. No, the reason by that. <laughs> Even he's not buying it. <laughs> Witness? Um, yes. What this court demands to know is whether or not you were responsible for the taking of this picture. It was delivered anonymously to the Imperial Police Bureau only yesterday. Yeah, I wouldn't be a general for doing click, 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 when the prince and it's like that, would I? Some of the stories come out to me. Sometimes I have to chase them down. But either way, you gotta be fast. Fast likes with. Best likes to run with, and a fast hand to write with. It's no good if you don't know it, that I always say. That's what I call my memory momism. Many, many memoism. My many mem memoism. Many memoism? Oh, yes, I remember your face. What? We met the day when you were interviewing myself in Sosaki san. Yes, that's right. That was me, Mammy Morgan. But you, but you were supposed to be going back to the show your news offices after a meeting. But the scoop is, I did it. Because the English woman's words have piqued my journalism interest. Miss Brett's words? A criminal. Let's do as she pleases just because she happens to be a British citizen. This horse stung. This country's judiciary is right to the core. 
Supreme Court's rulings are worth the paper they're in. The papers are just imperial plans. Stay your tongue, young man. There are complex political issues at play. Hmm. Well, anyway, I take the giant down those words she said in my memory of my pad. Are you ready? I'll read it out. That's all. Here, here, here goes. I sure you like to go. But everyone does say your country is cost. I see this criminal going on some junkies. The people need to know about this. That's why I decided to sneak out on them. To get the woman's story, so I can hammer her in the breast. You mean to say, you did indeed witness it firsthand? Grim scene portrayed in this photograph. Oh yes, I saw it with my railroad journal eyes. From start to finish. The rear fighter, the trust me camera. Jeez, you're even crazier than Lada. Thank you, Mamo, Mini Mamo son. You will now give a formal testimony before the court. You will say exactly what it is that you witnessed on the events surrounding Miss Brett's death. I hope this pirate voice of giving to Mammy Memo is not exactly annoying. This probably is annoying, but I, I don't care. I hope it's not too annoying, to say the least. The beach hut was made of shoddy old reed screens, so there are plenty of gaps I can see inside through. The English woman was sitting on a stool when the scooter girl came in and started arguing with her. Seconds later, the girl put on a knife. Throwing the English woman to the floor, she stepped into the back. My she wanted strong, spare him, burst into flames, quick as a flash. I whipped up my camera and ran the kick. Pointed by the referee, we were one of the screens and poked him into the perfect shot. Oh, that's not good if you can actually see it. Green screens, you say? Hey, right, you can see him clearly in that great shot I snapped. I guess, I guess those are reads. Hot dogs were just screams made of course a woman weeps. Yes, it allows the breeze to pass through and bring some relief to, from the summer heat. And it was breeze for me to pump my camera through and see the whole thing hot again. Well, for the time being, the appalling invasion of privacy involved. Did you witness anything that happened from the moment that Avena entered the hut? Ah oh, yes, I saw. I saw the whole thing from start to finish. Can you say that you took the photograph through a gap in one of the screens? That great for me. A pretty shiny woman. Poor Derita Pat and thrust the lens of my scammer through the gap. Would I get away with it? Or would I be seen with a game of a lifetime? I didn't see a purpose for this. Consider it me considered admirable and generous, I suppose. Oh jeez, I'm these voices are hurting my throat. I need to take a drink. <laughs> anyway, it's going to take right? Skip the next. The Mammy Mama is, is in that show. At last, it would appear we have a genuine witness to this wicked crime. The evidence and testimony are extremely compelling. I believe we may close to a verdict. May be close to a verdict. Oh no 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 no! Wonderful news, Your Excellency. Wonderful. Nevertheless, can be denied. Yet this testimony begs one very large question. What question? Excuse the news. He started the photograph. All the makings of an exceptional story for the reporter. Why then, was the story never published? Oh, that's right. Seems clear to me that there, there are circumstances at play here that we are yet to be understood. Ha! <laughs> More pathetic excuses! Very well then, Council. Proceed with your cross-examination. Yes, Your Excellency. There's more to this report than meets the eye. He's keeping something about this case very close to his chest. That's gotta hurt, you know. Camera never lies. Okay, good. Thank goodness about full health. <laughs> I was embarrassed that I lost 3 what? HP in the last last stream. What made you want to see what was happening inside the beach in the first place? Got a journal entity. Can you think of a better reason? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps because, as well, as being a proven criminal, the person inside was a young woman. Ah, I 
see where you're going this. Brace yourselves, people. He's pi He's painting the journal as a player. What a what a way for you to raid. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. It's hardly slander, sir. He had a camera, and you were taking pictures without the woman's knowledge. Nope. You got it all wrong, no stump boy. Sorry? To my mind, all that was inside the hut was a scoop. Nothing more, nothing less. Scoop's no agenda. No man or woman, it's all news. That's not even a memorism. It's basic journalism. The well, courtroom wasn't indiscriminate. <laughs> Right, so if that's all buttoned up, we can move, can we move on? Tell the court then, witness. What sight before you fell your eyes when you looked inside the hut? Pizza raid! Hey, Narapi, how's it going? Welcome in. A sight that vindicated my journal instinct, that's what. When I pull back the reeds, I, I can see it all clear as day. I, I hope my voice acting is at least on par with Blowfish's. Doing good on you. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. My voice is already getting strained. That's not good because I'm only 20 minutes into the stream. So you actually saw Mem Membami son enter the hut? Yep, she was raging, raging like my journal instinct. Right, hi thunders. And the argument you mentioned, what was that about exactly? You stole it. I didn't steal it. That kind of thing. Talk about the poison, I suppose. Remember, John hasn't actually played this game, so try not to spoil anything to him. He's not in the chat anymore. <clears throat> the student girl rocked right up to the English woman and really started laying into her. I mean, if she laid into her anymore, there would have been eggs. Egg! I meant she'd have been an author. His descriptive talents are wasted on journalism. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. But the student's rantings fell off deaf ears. Like a Japanese person listening to, to English for the first time. You really ought to work on a sim smart similes first, to be so honest. <laughs> anyway, the point is, the woman in the dark was mildly angry. And her temper finally got the better of her, it seems to me. Which was the climactic moment that got the villain. And there goes this pencil. Do you swear before the court that you actually saw the precise moment when the stabbing took place? <laughs> the precise moment? I didn't just see that. I saw the whole hellish thing play out from start to finish. I have here a simple plan of each other. Oh, cool. I, that's, uh, this actually worked out. Perhaps you can use it to explain the court exactly what you witnessed. Right, ya. Yeah. It's all here in my memory memo member pad. Okay, I want, I want, I'm curious about this. When I first peered into the hut, I'm sure that the English woman was on this stool in the back of the hut here. Okay. Yes, the Kira's own testimony confirmed that. She just sat at the back of the hut, smiling sweetly. That's what I have noted down. It's my turn to testify now. Try not to interrupt. <sighs> then the next moment, I was as I was watching, the evil student girl entered the hut. After a while, the pair of them entered in the middle of the hut, arguing furiously. The evil woman went for the student, but the girl dodged out of the way. And at last, pleasure life in her adversary's back as the two passed at each other. Hmm. You describe it as a grim crime indeed. Never should have conquered the truth. That's what Mammy Mumbleism is. Okay, we got the beach up plan. By the way, Mammy Mumbleism. Well, you were wa watching that terrible scene unfold before your eyes through the gap in the screen. Did it not occur to you to try to prevent the tragedy rather than capture on film? That's a good point. Journals have to be observers. We can't get involved. That's our raisin d'etre. I, I don't speak French. 
So he didn't converse with Whisper at all? Obviously not. And there are all the remains on the outside looking in. That's nothing to be proud of, is it? <laughs> Your Excellency, if I may. Yes, Professor. I think the witness's last expertly phrased statement should perhaps be added to his former testimony. Father, what are you? I will grant the defense's request. May I move on, son? You will su supplement your formal testimony with the affirmation statement. Well, now this has been the foundation of my person. But I'll gladly prove my, that my words aren't meaningless. I never once set foot in the hut, nor spoke with the English word. I was only there as an observer. You know what? I'm actually going to look at the evidence that I have. That I just got, got. So there's this. Uh, let's see here. Nothing is. I don't look at like anything suspicious about this. The label appears to be written in a foreign language that I don't know. It's German, so you know your English isn't gonna be it. It's gonna be a little help here, my friend. Damn it, that's freaking German. Could you just have written medicine on it in Japanese? Then we'd all be able to read it. German is the emotional language of medicine, my dear. Oh. Actually, I did not know that. But yes, I can certainly see the merit in labeling the bottle in Japanese. But I'm not sure medicine would be entirely appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, it's a freaking poison. Okay. Is that all this? Yeah, that's all that's in here. Okay. Freaking murder weapon. We got blood on the on the tip. Just the tip. Oh yes, the must, this must be the victim's blood. Oh dear, blood is never a pretty sight, is it? I'm having to fight the urge to run it out under a hot tub and get it clean. You've always been audacious about clean, cleaning this, haven't you? I think this is something else, Father. Alright. Anything secretive about this knife? No? Okay. Okay, here's the beach hut plan. So, of course... So, the culprit was back there in the vic... Victim was apparently moving forward. You know what? I'm going uh, I'm gonna look at these pictures again. Actually, you know what? According to this, yeah, according to this, that's actually not too too far. F yeah, you know what? Come on, that looks like she's a little bit far far back here, but I'm not sure if that's enough evidence. Okay, well let's just press this. Really, you didn't set foot inside the hut at all. Are you quite sure about that? I think you may have that wrong compared with me. We're talking about a murder scene here. My nerves were stretched to the breaking pot already. Oh, I see. You were scared? Maybe I did have the wrong impression of you, yes. It was all I could do was stifle a scream to, and, and hold my hand steady to just snap a shot. You really should have summoned help before thinking of your camera. Baby barbarism and humanism don't always agree. I need a drink. Jeez, man. <sighs> Most of the time in those instances, baby barbarism comes out on top. Huh. Sculptor of the stories. Sometimes. I have to be cruel for my art. Yes, that's spot on. Shirley's making all this up. He claims to have spied the whole affair from start to finish. If true, his testimony is devastating. But it does seem as though he's holding something back, doesn't it? That's how you feel. I suggest that you trust your instincts and press him on everything he said. As you no doubt have seen done multiple times before in your role as Judas and assistant. Yes, I have. I've seen witnesses like this pressed often. I know exactly what to do. Okay. So I haven't, I've not pressed this in the next statement, I think. Yeah, okay. It just, all it did was add a statement to the last one. Okay. 
let's, let's press this then. The court is fully aware of your d desire to capture the incident in film, I'm sure. But why then? Did you choose to post the photograph anonymously to the police? He has no response. I'm afraid. I don't understand a word that's coming out of your mouth. What? Asking why, as a journalist, I decided not to make a story out of the incident. Think about me a sculptor. A sculptor makes art out of the sordid private details of other people's lives. I never discuss my own personal life on principle. I mean, that's basically memo memoism. Is that something to boast about? No doubt your bloody desire to see the truth exposed in justice. That what that was what motivated you. That's it, that's really it. My burning desire to see something or other exposed. There has been a good reason why I didn't think to write an article for what he saw though. By your own admission, you were outside the hut. How then did you manage to take the photograph? Ah, yes, that. I'm glad you asked. Okay, let me get back to the testimony. Hold it! But the two women inside didn't notice. <laughs> Obviously not. They had. Where would I be right now? In jail, that's where. Would you think... Would you think you'd make you... Yeah, I'm having a stroke here. Would you would you think you would make become Jeez man, I can't read. Would you think would make you reflect on what you were doing? Gosh, man. No, a journalist's job I should collect the little snippets of life as unobtrusive as possibly. Leave nothing but footprints. Take nothing but photos. Yes, that's spot on. Did he just make that up? The point is the witness wastes his life, life and limb, to obtain this photograph. This photograph reveals the whole truth. There's nothing more to be said. Alright, well. Seems like I pressed everything. Is he gonna say something different? Okay, yeah, no, he's gonna say the same thing. We just press everything. But I've already pressed. I've, I have pressed everything. Hmm. Oh, what? Uh. Pretty. Sh this is. Hold on, is there like a piece of evidence I've not yet observed? Oh, let's, let's talk about the poison. Hold on, uh... I need to look at this here. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess he could have like... Yeah, there, there are a fair, a fair amount of gaps in it, so it's not, so that's not a contradiction. What did you say? Oh, what did we say I get on this? Okay. Oh, this is talking with this. Talk about this again. Uh, victim was on the chair. Then the culprit came inside. They were arguing. Swap, swap sides, and in response, the culprit stabbed the victim. That's what he. That's what he claims. Deep stab wound from behind, piercing the lung. Death wound. Okay. So that is that is true. Stabbing in the back. We 
there's a very small amount of liquid still inside so I, I didn't examine that uh, where is this being taken I feel like it's you like that's like low to the ground Hold on. That's outside, right? With this angle, hold on. Oh, I th I think I see like what Gapsy was using. Yeah, I think I think uh, all these gaps here. I think that's where he took the picture. So somewhere around here, like he spread this open, took the picture, and it went out at an angle like this. So I th That's why I, th I think it happened. But according to this, like, there is this in the way. Wait, wait what is that? Hold on. Oh, that's the. Yeah, that's this. This stand. So supposedly he took he must have taken the picture like this. But I'm not sure if he had enough room. But where I get Where I put this? Never once set foot inside the hut. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I pressed this, but I'm just gonna double check. Starting off on a toughie. Okay. Surely he's making all this up. Hmm. You know, hold on. I'm not, did she say press? I'm, I'm gonna like try to press everything else. See if, see if there's like no new information that I've learned. Just now learned with this. Not this. I know it's not. No, hold on. Hold it. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I need, to, I think I need to pre pre present something. What is she saying? Uh, I don't know. Hold on, I need to look up the evidence again. Extremely else says pupil constriction was observed in the victim's both eyes. Well, yeah, that's that's saying we have we know about like her death was because of poison. article I've already like examined everything on here oh I haven't examined oh. oh I missed I'm gonna actually examine this 
some sort of emblem here. Look. What? Isn't it isn't a human university one? Must belong to some other organization, I suppose. Business of some kind. But that would seem to imply that the pen does not doesn't in fact belong to Ray. Hum. Okay. Interesting. Now we know that. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This pa this pen is freaking yours. Cuz you got the same emblem on your freaking band. Hold on. So now we know this pen is yours. Wait, RM, RM. Hold on. Hold it. I'll just press you on this. Just so I can look at your name. Ah! Ha, ha. RM! Oh, I chose a freaking long one to press on. Oh well. Well, I'll, I'll get you on this pen eventually. How would, she, how would she get a hold of that pen? Hmm. Nothing else. Are you sure? Like. I'm sure there's not nothing special about this knife. trouble on this one this is the first I've got I've got to try something uh, well this this statement was added to the court record Hold on. Constant bearing. Yeah, she's got the pen in her hand. I'm actually gonna put the. Objection. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Okay, man. Okay. <sighs> I had to do something. I'm glad I fi found out what's on the pen. <clears throat> Maybe my son. Till now, I heard, I heard a firm belief. The newspapers are in the are in the business of uncovering and publishing the truth. You spot on there. The press don't lie, which is why I'm proud to wear the emblem of the Shoryu News on my arm. No way. That's more mammy moism. Sure enough. Sadly though, it seems the journalists who write those for those papers don't always share the same passion for the truth. What, what are you suggesting with those recriminatory words, Council? There you are, son. Do you recognize this fountain pen? Ah! This pen was found at the scene of Miss Britt's death. In fact, the murder victim was gripping it in her hand as she died. What are you? If you look at the barrel of the pen, you'll notice that its owner's initials are engraved there. RM. Yes, thank you for bringing that up, Council. The initials of the accused Raymond Bobby. 
Is that a coincidence? I wonder. That your initials are also RM? No! Right in my mem memo. RM. That's, that's horse dung. Can't you see? One of the central tenets of memoism is a pen user, is being a pen user, pencil user. And yet, as the court will clearly be able to see, on your right hand, there's a very obvious blue ink stain. Oh, got him. It appears that you must have, must have rather carelessly left it somewhere recently. Your favorite fountain pen, that is. Horny, horsey, horse dung. Maybe my son, is that not the case that before she died? You met with just over in the beach hut? Attention! Why should we listen to this absurd nonsense? It's nothing but another excuse! Jackity! Sure, your news was stand behind me all the way. I deny everything! There must be as many people with the initials I am. There are stars in, as there are stars in the night sky. This is neither the time nor the inclination to count every star in the sky. Hmm? And there's no need anyway. Because this pun has more to tell. Yes, there's another clue. A clue to that undeniably proves who its owner really is. In that case, counsel, the defense will now show the court where this alleged clue is, lies. Of course, Your Excellency. The clue in this Johnson plan clearly reveals its owner's identity is. Bingo! As well as the initials, there is also an emblem on this fountain pen. An emblem that you will, of course, recognize, Mammy Memo son. Ah! Goodness me! It's the emblem on the shirt of the Shurio News! In other words, the owner of this pen is an employee of the Shurio News, whose initials are RM. Suddenly, the stars in the night sky don't seem so nu numerous, do they? Well, Mammy Memo son, how do you respond? Mm. Nah! <laughs> order, order! Explain yourself, witness. <laughs> so, this is how the mighty Supreme Court works, is it? Using coercive tactics to have well meaning citizens reveal harmless secrets. I've used nothing but honest tactics. Alright, then fine. I won't try to hide anymore. Yes, not long before the grim tragedy unfolded. I assure you, news reporter, on behalf of the public, conducted an interview with the Englishman. What? Interview? You never mentioned this before! What exactly was this? As I said, it was before that evil little student showed her face in that hut. Could have lasted more than two or three minutes. That's all. It was just a brief exchange. But it came to nothing. As we remember, remember what say. The people don't pay their dues for unworthy news. <laughs> However insignificant you de deem it to be, this court cannot overlook the meaning between yourself and the victim. You will testify now, under the oath, of the precise nature of this meeting and what transpired. Got it, yes. All right. But, on one condition. Condition? Condition? In all good conscience, I couldn't speak out alone about this. Need to go back to the earlier witnesses. Sasaki Natsumi-san. Sasaki-san? Oh yes, according to my notes here, that man has a secret of his own. Embrace yourselves. Yeah, it's not a harmless one, it's big. What? What? Many memorism says that one man's secret is another man's front page story. Isn't everyone's isn't one man's secret is another man's treasure? Very well. I'll grant the witnesses request in this instance. Officer, summon the early witness to back to stand. Like it's uh, hiding something. Uh, 
Hi, buddy. How's it going? Oh, we're going right into this witness testament. Let me take a drink real quick. <clears throat> I think, there we go. I see English woman for an interview, but she declined, so I left the hut without making a fuss. Then watching secretly from outside, I saw the woman being stabbed and the other witnesses coming around. Coming running. The detective realized that the victim still had a pulse, so he ran off to fetch help. That's when this rider man here asked the woman a very significant question. But I didn't say anything about that in his, about that in his testimony, which is why Mammy Moism designed the man's I reveal it now. You mean to say the victim? Victim regain consciousness? Uh, well, um... What you did, you... You decided to ask her a question? That's... Um, that's true. Yes. He did, he did. That's not all. The woman gave him, him a very def def definite answer. An answer that incriminates the accused. This is preposterous. Why am I only hearing about this now? Why didn't you make this before you? You yo cack. And why are you going to say that? Yes, I did pose a withering English rose up question. I don't deny it. But you could no longer seek. She was barely conscious, even. Counsel for the defense. I expect a thorough cross examination to be conducted here. This court must and will know the truth. Absolutely, Your Excellency. The porter is claiming that Miss Brett implicated Ray somehow. I wonder if this could have happened in that hut. <laughs> I wonder if we're actually going to get a tutorial about looking to, looking to, to, from side to side. Hold it! You asked her for an interview, you say? Well, of course I did. I want to ask about the incident she was involved in at the end of last year. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing right on the D-pad. It's not working. What's the case in which jo Dr. John H. Wilson lost his life? That's not the way I phrased it. Baby murder doesn't cause for straight talking. Why did you murder Dr. Wilson? Is how I put it to her. Yes, that sort of talking is as straight as a ruler. Asking him a question, as if you're asking him for a menu in a restaurant, I say. It's the, it's the best way. A veteran at the paper taught me that. How did Miss Brett answer? With one simple phrase. Mystery is open charm. <laughs> Whew, that told me. So I walked right out of there. Really? Something about that doesn't seem quite, doesn't quite seem to fit together. Leave every room if you're waltzing in a dance hall, I say. It's the best way. The better has a paper copy that. Hold it! That was very persistent of you, considering that Miss Brett had just turned you away. Persistence wins the prize. Any man I'm with will tell you that. Let me tell you what you've left. Just say, just cut when they lower their guard. That's when you swoop in for the swoop, coot, scoop. That's for the fruits of your labor that all too parent in this telling photograph. Though I'm sure a young Yuko student would rather not be reminded of this damning evidence. Actually, it's thanks to that photograph that we managed to identify this witness. And now you've found me, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. I got nothing to hide. I'm sure. You already hid one thing from us. Please go ahead, witness. The court is eager to hear what you have to say. Try to stop me. There's a story to tell here. I'm gonna tell it. Hold it! Is the sucky son remain behind in the hut? That's right, yep. Why not a friend here? With a blabbering wreck, shaking all over from his head to his toes, mustache twitching, eyes bulging. What do you expect? Very terrible. I thought you was traveling abroad. Behind, big phone, bars. Let me cover for him, Shirley. That's all I can think. I felt so I was grasped. 
Guess we were here, trying to save Cold Sweat. Uh, he thought he was gonna get arrested again, wasn't he? Of course, like he said, he experienced this alone and scarred him deeply. It's the worst thing that goes on around me. I cry like a shadow, but I'm not a brother. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. The hand is coming for me. Surely. No sutures are respawned in my courtroom, please. And now, we come to the cruiser part. That's when it happened. Hold it! What question? What exactly did they say? Well, now, you should hear that from the horse's mouth, I think. Don't you, Mr. Rider Man? Ah! Uh. Oh, you yoko hack! What do you say to her? What did you say to the dying huge woman? Oh, oh Juice! I've been catching crabs at the water's edge. I've been catching crabs in the sand, you see. Well, the seaside is a place, place to be at leisure, I suppose, even for a grown man. But all of a sudden, when the little beaches, our young girl's panic stricken cries for help from using the air. Hey! I'm going to the beach to see what happens. Happening. It's fine, I've been laying over the collapse of the victim. As soon as the victim was on the Miss Brown, as soon as the victim was on the Miss Brown on the ground, he sprang off to get help. And then, just a moment later, I heard a faint moan. I'm going for another English woman. I nearly jumped! Oh, he's scared! Why'd you ask her, Sosaki san? Hi, sir. What does it do? Don't, don't protract this any longer. How does the woman respond? She didn't, she didn't respond. She didn't have any response. But, but, but. In this stand, you will answer the questions asked of, of you unambiguously. Now, without evasion or re reticence, I demand you amend your testimony. I will! I said, who did this to me? We should have replied. So it's a troubling figure. Point in the direction of the defendant. Hold it! So you try to find out who the culprit was? He asked the question of the fool for a minute. <laughs> He, he does not remain a fool forever. What are you, Francisca von Karma? And having a little criminal choice, my time in Great Britain, I was quick to make my mind. Twice. Better be a fool forever. Be a fool, be a fool person forever. However, you've indicated that a victim failed to respond. Is that correct? I know why. I know why the English woman said nothing. She was annoying me! I got my stupid my busters! Because I'm Japanese! Oh dear. Sosaki san has really developed a dislike for the English, it seems. Women read the report on this time of Great Britain. I can't seem surprised at the xenophobia. Xenoblade? But the English, I mean, they didn't ignore you at all. She, did she, Mr. Adaman? <laughs> well, yes, alright. She didn't respond in a manner of speaking, I suppose. Oh no, I don't. Hold it. That ain't good. Is Brett pointing a finger at the defendant? So, Saki san, is that really true? It's not even standing inside this, but. When we first entered the beach hut. The English woman was brawling on the floor before us, with a student girl standing on the far side of her. Who I asked, who did I say? The English woman summoned her last ounce of strength to point a trembling finger at the back of the hut. Jeez, man. <laughs> I like how there's just a pointer finger on the screen. <laughs> Which was, it can't be denied, in the direction of the student girl whose dad is accused today. No! Sasaki-san, why on earth did you neglect the mechanism this in your original testimony? <laughs> Federal sticks, I say! This is not a British court of law. You are responding in Japanese. Yes, of course. The English woman did point her finger toward the back of the hood. But... But I was trembling. And she was trembling. And everything was a blur. 
I was thinking about. I feel as though it's pushing it's pointing in a slightly different direction. Actually, no, not slightly. In a very different direction to where the stone girl was standing. Somewhere in the back of the hut, where nobody was standing at all. You mean that you have that you may have The direction in which the boy victim was pointing are both unclear? Yes, that's it. Unclear. A very, very unclear. Attention! Your Excellency, surely this proves the matter of beyond all reasonable doubt. Yes, the woman may barely have been conscious, and yes, perhaps the finger wavered slightly. But there can be no doubt that this was an attempt by the victim to confirm her identity of the assailant. Why? Because, of course, you see, there was no other, no one other than the accused in the, in the direction the victim was pointing. It is now abundantly clear that no one besides the accused could have possibly committed this crime. Ah, oh, this is not good. I'm inclined to agree. In the absence of any credible argument to the contrary, I believe we can now conclude this trial. No! No! This ain't good. <laughs> the headlight's running itself. That's the lawyer's hope dash it. 90 points across the whole page. We'll do an extra edition. This is a serious blow, Sasato. Unless we're able to identify the true culprit and sub substantiate our claim with evidence. The judge will give us ruling, and the trial will be over. <laughs> but that's impossible, Father. We don't even know how the crime was committed yet. Possible, though the task may seem, we have no, no choice. We must think back over everything we've learned thus far. Somewhere in all those details, I'm confident we'll find the clue we need. Rick here was the her account on how the events of war with Venice and the chamber before the trial was in. He told us what happened at, happened at the precise moment Miss Brent was killed. What did she say again? Got to her feet and then collapsed. She just immediately collapsed with a knife. How could Miss Brent have been stabbed in the back? Beach shot that was empty before herself array. Somewhere amid all the information we've gathered so far, there must be an answer to that question. I think then the defense has nothing further to add. So the gallant Yoko Stevens luck finally runs out. I can't say I'm surprised. In that case, I'm ready to deliver my final verdict on this matter. This is a crucial turning point now. If I can't establish what really happened, it's over. Where was the real culprit hiding? And how did he or she stab the victim? Hmm, I need to look at the court record here. There is a slot right through the. Yeah, there is a slot right there. Hold on, I'm gonna save real quick. Cause I think I have an idea. I think, I think I'm gonna do this. Objection. Your Excellency, I respectfully ask you to propose to postpone your education for the time being. Oh? To what end, Council? The defense would like to present the court with an alternative theory. An alternative theory that can explain who the victim was trying, actually trying to implicate with her dying gesture. Objection! An alternative theory? Ha! That exists! Objection! There was someone else present at the scene. Could have committed this crime. What? The victim, Miss Britt, tried to reveal who it was to those around her at the time by her mustering all her remaining strength and pointing a trembling finger in the killer's direction. This, this is fiction, fantasy. Very well. As you seem so sure of yourself, Counsel, I am prepared to hear your alternative theory. So, young Ryotaro Naruhoto. Yes, Your Excellency. You present your latest theory to the court by by means of this plan. At the moment the victim was stabbed, where exactly are you proposing the culprit was concealed? Hold on, what I, I need to know, like, what is that? That's a stool. Okay. I'm gonna say, like, back here. Take that! Now her son would never give up. I'm a never heard of no, and I'm a never hodo now. 
true culprit who failed to stab Miss Britt was concealed in this location here. Are you mad, Council? You're suggesting that the culprit was outside the hut? What? Order, order, order. The student lawyer never heard of us, why? But that, that makes no sense at all. You know, she just pointed out the exact spot where I was hiding to get my scoop snap. If I didn't see any suspicious, suspicious individuals lurking around, I can swear to that. Obviously, if the culprit had been outside the hut, there's no way that he or she could have stabbed the victim who was inside the hut. Actually, prosecutor Algy, there is a way. Ah. And, in point of fact, the defense can provide evidence strongly suggesting that is precisely the way Miss Burt was killed. Yeah, I'm bluffing. Yeah, I'm bluffing. Yeah, I'm bluffing. The defense's assertion is clearly to be too f fantastical for the court to comprehend. You need to give us more guidance, counsel. What piece of evidence corroborates your theory that the victim was stabbed from outside the hut? And I present this because it's like, you can clearly see like a huge gap in the reeds. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this. I, pu I push try, trying, there we go. The original photographic prints of the crime scene? Yes. It's clearly visible in this print. A trace of the fatal thrust that was delivered from outside the beach hut. Do you take us for fools? There's no hint of any such thing. I'm not sure that everyone present would agree. Someone, at least, appears to have noticed what, what it is that I'm referring to. Council, once again, I must call on you to be explicit for the court. Really? Come on. Where on this photograph is the trace of the stabbing which you claim took place outside the hut? Dude, come on. It's, you can clearly see it right here. Look closely, just here. Oh, let's, let's get gum, let's get Gumshoe's zooming device. In the screen at the back of the hut, you can see the effect of, of a plate having been forced through the reeds. No, I can't be. I can't see such thing. Straight out of the hut in question had four walls and you back. However, by pointing the reeds, a knife blade could easily penetrate them. This is extraordinary. Yes. The true culprit actually stabbed the victim from outside the beach hut. Ah. Out of everyone present at the scene, there's only one person who could have done that. Only one person who's directly outside the hut when Miss Burt was killed. Right in my mirror, son. I can only have been you. <laughs> this preposterous dear leaves me almost speechless. Just look at this photograph again. The victim lies at almost ex in the center of the beach hut, does she not? Are we to assume that as part of this? For sure scenario, that the assailant was a knife thrower? Objection! No, of course not. We're not? If you recall the testimony of the defendant about the events just, just before the victim's death. Now yeah, we're going back to what she said. Yeah, she si was sitting on the stool and then she fell over face first. Uh, a stool! Have another look at the photograph. The slip in the read screen. But it aligned perfectly with the back of the person who was sitting on that stool. My word! So, in fact, the victim was. Killed was while st sitting on that stool by a stab wound to her back delivered through the read screen. Ah! Had been attacked, Miss Brett rose to her feet instinctively. But then, unable to speak, she collapsed on the floor in the middle of the hut. The other defendant, Mambani Sen, appalled eyes. And that, Your Excellency, is the truth of what happened on the beach that day. By your silence, Mambi Mambani I take it that you don't deny the charge? He is, is, we're not going to win this easily. This! 
This is absurd. That will do. It would appear that we have a t test to seat admission of guilt from the witness. Accordingly, this court has successfully established the truth of, the, of this matter, which means that the defendant, Mbami san, is innocent of the crime. Oh, thank goodness! It's not gonna end this easily, is it? I finally made a cave. I must say, I've never been more proud. No, this can't be! The Archie can't claim it! What am I growth? My growth of hope! It wasn't an apparition! I can't accept this! I won't! I see no reason for the continuance of this trial. I will therefore move to conclude proceedings by delivering my final vert. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> wow, well, this is all very convenient. This is how the highest court in Almighty Empire delivers justice, is it? Suppressing well meaning <laughs> citizens' freedom to speech and branding them as criminals. But, we've established that the victim was stabbed from outside the hut through the red screen walls. And no one but you was in place at the time to at, at the time to have his hand on the hilt of the blade. It's all perfectly logical deduction. So your argument hinges on the location of whoever stabbed the English woman, does it? Well, it seems a little irrelevant now. What? Irrelevant? Where she was stabbed. How she was stabbed. It doesn't matter. I mean, whether she was stabbed at all makes no difference, if you think about it. That's all. Chad, I already showed the whole thing hinges on something else. What? What is your face now? I think it's starting to show us true colors. What are you talking about? Raise yourselves, little man. I'm talking about the fact that everything's changed. Because the dirt you dug up. What? Enough scrutiny. Explain yourself, witness. What's there explain? I'm talking about the poison, of course. That poison? Let's ask the professor for, uh, for a comment on the situation, shall we? I understand that the deadly poison you were developing was stolen from your laboratory, correct? And it's been shown that this poison was administered to, to the victim, Miss Brent. Is that right? That is correct. The unusual constriction of the victim's pupils are a sure sign that this, that this particular poison was used. I see, I see. So presumably that means... That the victim already had the poison in her body. Before she was stabbed. Huh? Given that the pupils were clearly constricted, it seems highly likely, yes. If she had been dead already, the poison could not have circulated in her breath. Damn it! Why are you sweating? <laughs> ah ha! How refreshing to hear the argument of a metro metropolitan mind. Precisely, the man is not a jot who stabbed whom and whose back and with whose blade. Because, quite simply, the English woman's life was taken not by the knife, but by po the poison! Objection! But. That can be explained by the poison being on the blade, as I are. Attention! No, it's not on the blade. <laughs> We're gonna already have you, yokel! During the, these very proceedings, the laboratory of the professor, uh, you assigned assisted in proving that the blade of the weapon used to attack the victim had no trace of the poison on it whatsoever. <sighs> so let me get this down. The facts are skillful, skillfully established by the defense in this trial. Is, is it is skillfully spelled with one L? In, in British, I'm gonna assume that's that's how it's spelled in, in British. But I'm not gonna assume it's a typo. Turned out to be a headline-making red herring. Is that about right? Uh, I'll answer that, that as soon as I get a drink. Order, order, order. But where does this leave us? 
How in that case, the poison enter the victim's body? It's an undeniably obvious answer to that. The lady most likely imbi imbibed it. Imbibed? You mean she drank it? I'm gonna look at the photograph here. As you can see, a bottle of carbonated water and a glass have been knocked to the sandy floor of the beach. Of the beach, I mean. you know, dude, are you kidding me? Like, drinking the poison is not gonna hurt. Yeah, like, dr what's up, son? Hey, hey, Apple, hey, Apple Johns, how's it going? I'm doing well. <clears throat> the, po the poison could have slipped into either. Somebody made Miss Brent drink it. Yeah, I know the poison's not. That's not gonna how this poison works. It doesn't work. Via ingesting. Well, what do you know? Look at our stash knife. This will make a great front page shot. Hey, what a ferocious stare. After all, I'm the last person you should be looking at. It makes no sense that at all that I poisoned the woman, would it? I mean, she's a stat been established already. Established? What are you talking? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I I've got a feeling she was injected with a pen, and that's. Why, that's that's how she got poisoned via the pen. Okay, okay. I've got I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Oh, oh, get, I'll present it when I can. <laughs> hmm? Don't tell me you've forgotten. That's a little hard to believe, given that person. That's the person who established it. Was you? Me? What is it? What does it mean? Oh, let me capture those wide eyes. This is prime press folder. It is fodder. It is. It seems that this trial is not destined to end yet. After all, I hereby call the witness to give further testimony. No. This is great. This is. Let me get a shot of that magnificent beard, your excellency. Claim it to be impossible that you were the one responsible for administering the poison to the victim. You will explain to the court in your testimony the basis from which you make such a claim. I'm a gentleman, a man. I've never tried to run or hide from, any, from anything in my life. I'm, about, I'm not about to start now, because that's many memories of For a brief moment, I thought I eliminated the truth, but it slipped right back into obscurity again. Just where is this trial going to take us? Alright. Complete innocence. Oh uh, yeah, we're getting, getting to the end of this. Oh, oh, yes, I stabbed the English woman. It's th that very fact that proves I'm innocent. Because why would I bother to stab the woman if I had already poisoned her? When I heard the sturdy girl on the pompous English mur murder arguing, it was got my go. Of course, we're going to punish Brett for what she did. Someone else would have to see justice done. So you admit it, then? Did everything happen as I described it? That you're the one who stabbed Miss Brett in the back through the reed screen? You can blame this miserable country of ours. Oh gosh. Country that matters. The pressure of the foreign powers that lets murderers walk free. What kind of future can a country like that have? That's why I did it. That's why I pathetic leaders didn't have the guts to do. Slap bang in the middle of the charming leaf back. I plunged the blade of sweet justice right in there. Right in there. Oh, got a mission of guilt, but unfortunately that's not the murder weapon. As someone who spends his life seeing that the truth is told, I feel really, really awful about giving false information in my testimony before. But as it turns out, there was somebody else who had it in for the victim and got to her before me. That's right, you guessed it. The pretty little student girl. And that is a woman who, after my own art. You're implicating Ray again. She's the one who gave the poison to the English woman and ended her pitiful existence. It said they stepped. This journal here is off the hook. Mm. This argument is sound, certainly. I mean, you're not off the hook. You, you, you committed perjury in court. The witness had administered the poison herself. He need only have waited for it to take effect. Subsequently stabbing the victim in the back would have been entirely non nonsensical. And 
being there for me. This reporter had nothing to do with the poisoning. Yes, it's all quite logical. That's right, it is. Logical and true. I'm glad you're all seen the light. Justice at last. It's unbelievable. After all I've made this, so much progress in proving his guilt, is he going to get away with it now? Hopefully not. Smack. I think I've come as a I never heard of sign. I never stopped looking for a way forward until the judge's final gavel. And this is the final gavel. Just kidding. Farewell, then, counsel. Proceed with what I assume to be your final cross examination as a trial. Hey! Yes, the Jackson C. All right, let's go. Hold it. So, you do admit that you had murderous intentions toward Miss Britton. Ha! That woman is very easy since offended my sense of justice. This is it. Is claiming some sort of righteous indignation? She is pure evil. A cold-blooded killer who committed the murder right in front of the Empire of Soya. But did our good-for-nothing government do anything? Not a chance. So I had to step in. Fly the flag, I just says, put things that right for the people. Yes, that's my civic duty. That's what drove me to do it. So in summary, what are his intentions then? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, the point is this. The English woman was a plight. So I had to do what was right for society. Hey, that rhymes. Yeah, a real wrong was done by the city girl. The by the city girl on the dock. A cry for what she must pay. Obviously. Because the poisoning was nothing to do with me at all. Hold it. So you still maintain that you didn't give the poison to the victim? Obviously, that would be like putting a belt on your trousers when you were already wearing braces like these. He kills the administrator. Administrator the poison following which the witness stabbed the victim. I forget all that, certainly, but not when a murder. The crime was in the accused shoulders. That is how the law works, you see, Yoko. Who knows? You might even learn something here today. Two, two consecutive attempts on her life in the space of minutes? Quite a day for the victim. <laughs> That's an understatement. Do something like that, evil, and you got it coming. That's how the law works, the law of reckoning. That's not the kind of law this court upholds. You'll reiterate why you were compelled to stab the victim then, witness. Hold it. What exactly were the argument about? About what happened in the restaurant nine months ago, that's what. The student girl was not laying in the English one for killing her beloved mentor, Dr. Wilson. Yes, John H. Wilson, professor of medicine, divided from England by Professor Mika Tobin, no less. Right, but the English woman was just cheered. Her case was to be heard by the British Consular Court in Shanghai, however, there is little doubt that she would simply have been acquitted and sent back to her homeland a free woman. It was eating that student girl up inside, you can see it. I really fell for her. What? Who said that? Hi. I can't. I can't stand here and listen to this tripe. Ray. Young girl, you stand and kill us here. You can't just blurt out whatever you feel like it. No, you, no, you can't. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something very important testimony here. Just keep quiet and listen. But, but this awful man is making all this up. Sad, please. You have to make them listen. Turn to the dock at once, Mimbani san We are in the middle of a cross examination. Your Excellency, please, I implore you. I'm surprised they actually noticed that they, they called her Sasato instead of Ryotaro. The journalist is clearly not a trustworthy witness. Exactly! He's a filthy, rotten, black hearted, big hearted, great peeping, dirty, great peeping Tom. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, I have to. I have to. Sorry, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Put the loot. 
Wow, take it easy there. Please, I really think the court should, should hear what the defendant has to say. Your Excellency, I see no need whatsoever to entertain the accused remarks. I'll grant the request of the defense. But your Excellency! This is likely to be the final cross examination of these proceedings. As such, I believe it would be ill advised to stifle the defendant's obvious concerns. Still, whilst recognizing that this, that this con contravenes regular protocol, I hereby call upon the defendant to speak. Oh! Thank you so much, Your Excellency! It was nothing to do with Dr. Wells. We are discussing the solar pr poison. Okay, they just put it. They just stuck her in the middle of the. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, they just stuck her in the middle here. Stolen poison that killed the victim, you mean? I suspect her of being the one to, st to steal it. I mean, just think about how she killed Dr. Wilson. That's true. Additionally, this bread certainly had the knowledge of the new poison. But surely, it would be no easy task to steal a highly secret toxin being developed by for the government. Indeed, all visitors to the laboratory are thoroughly searched when they leave. Even if thief managed to avoid being seen by myself or a colleague, keep the poison out would be very difficult. Let's shoot! A person from Professor Miku took until he agreed to show me the poison when I visited his laboratory. As I left, I saw from Tata Mateo. Miss Brett was rather bluntly revealed the existence of the toxin. Miss Brett rather bluntly revealed the existence of the toxin we've been developing, you see. And since the Saki Center expressed such an interest in it, I feel I felt unable to refuse. Obviously, I gave nothing away other than the fact that it was an extremely potent substance. I'm very ashamed of myself. It's just that I had a single entire experience with a deadly poison. I want to let my own enemy on! Surely I gotta say that! Find out my source this was true. I forgot to be spread about the poison. Tore that there would be an innocent incident involving it somehow. It just wouldn't be the, it just wouldn't be the university. Military would be dragged into it. The whole government even. It would be a complete disaster. How did Miss Brett respond to your concerns? She just curled up those beautiful lips of hers. Said she didn't know the first thing about it. English, English actually. Oh yes, maybe my most son. Just one small question, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Can you see I'm busy? Clearly, you were outside the beach, listening in whilst the defendant and Miss Brett were conversing. Presumably, then it was you who wrote this article about what you heard. Huh. Exclusive, deadly poison stolen from Humane Medical Research Laboratory. The story was published this, mo this morning's edition of Shuri News. The details are too accurate for it to have been written by anyone else. Mm, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes! Look at this! The entire article! It's always, it's, like, it's always what I said to Miss Brent, word for word! Ah! Oh, maybe I'm son. As a journal, and, and as a citizen of a free country, I don't have to reveal my sources. That's a felony principle that maybe that's. Yeah, is it? Is it citing one of your resources part of your job? Well, that's clearly right about this. That part did write that article. And he based it on what he overheard from outside the hut. Okay. So that's what this is all about. You're trying to cover up the fact that you're using it again. That's why you came with that stinking story about me arguing with her. Hey, hey, shut up! My story's a mistake. Look, whatever you say, Lunker, you are all to the facts. Your Excellency, there's something I want to say, and I want to go on record. Very well, you may amend your formal testimony. <sighs> oh, he's breaking down. He's mad. Point is, if you poison someone, there'd be no reason to go and, st go and stab the person as well. 
Okay, he just amended the last thing he said. Hold it. Perhaps she's dead of the fish. Fish at sea. The poison is thought to make sure your victim will die. That's horse dog. What? That'll be like pouring pepper on your Chinese ramen. Before it even tasted it. Completely reckless. Uh, yeah, pepper. Pepper and Chinese ramen. Exactly what we all needed. Oh, that might surprise you to learn that I'm a bit of an impetuous pepper pourer, as it happens. This makes us taste the poison. She would have been only minutes away from death. And yet, this man then proceeded to stab her in the back as well. There has been a good reason for that. If it was the reporter who gave the poison to spread, then clearly must have done it prior to Ray entering the hut. Yes, that's undeniable. But between him and leaving and the hut being... that, But between him and leaving the hut and the victim being stabbed, there is one very crucial change in the situation. Sorry. No change. The reporter overheard the conversation between Ray and the English woman. Ah, yes, that's it. That's when Mammy Rose at first found the, the exact nature of the poison he'd used. That could be the key here. Alright, well, we got a contradiction. I just need to figure out what, what that means. If the victim had unwittingly taken the poison already, the water reporter would have had no reason to stab her. On the face of it, the logic sounds entirely reasonable. But there's no question that this man was responsible for Miss Pritt's murder. I think you can think of a plausible explanation as to why he must have stabbed might have stabbed her even after the poisoning. I feel sure that everything would drop into place. That's what we should be looking for. Yes, I agree. In order to do that, I must try to get more information. Okay, so we need to present here. First of all, what does this say? Hold on. Alright. Talk about poison that was stolen from the lab laboratory. Reported many metals and based it on the information he gleaned from eavesdropping. Okay, let's see here. I would like to very soon. Okay. The mouth will be the wound from poison lace blade will prove fatal minutes. Technically, we have chemical. Suggestive of this toxin. Apparently, the Commissioned by the military. It's being created in strict secrecy. Interesting how it's mentioned specifically a poison lace blade. You know what? Actually, I think that's enough. I think that's enough to warrant an objection. Yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> well, I can think of one reason. What? What? But before I explain, I'd like you to confirm something for the court. Do you glean all the information from this newspaper article from what you overheard outside the hut? Of course I did! There can be no question of that! After all, we were in the laboratory together. All we were told is that it was a 
there more toxin. There's one more important fact to consider. According to the witness, Bombani sent verbal attack against the victim began as soon as she entered the hut. In other words, it would have been impossible for her to slip the poison into Miss Brett's drink. Attention! Where are you going with this, Cancel? Any man of son has made it quite clear that he observed every single thing that has happened at the beach hut. If the defendant had somehow found an opportunity, this man would have seen it. Ugh. Means that Miss Brett could have been imbibed the, the poison whilst the defendant was present. In fact, it must have been administered to her before Mammy Mamosan entered the hut. Yes, very articulate, 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 articulately. Okay, that's that's the word. Very articulately put. When I walked into the hut, I immediately started to press the brisk bread about the poison. At which point, Mammy Mamosan overheard some worrying information. Worrying information? What worry information? The information which he subsequently included in his newspaper article, namely, that the poison was being developed in strict secrecy and it couldn't be readily obtained. Absolutely. In fact, it's quite an understatement. The only possible place it could have come from is my lab. Furthermore, anyone inflicted by the poison would exhibit telltale signs of death. The extreme constriction of the pupils. Yes, it's quite stark when you see it. There are other poisons that show similar symptoms. Nothing. Not amongst new substances are undetectable. In other words, be clear that the victim's life has been eaten by the use of this particular poison. Which will re reduce the number of sensors to only a handful of people. Ah! Even my laboratory is aware of the unique properties of the toxin we've been developing. None of them would be foolish enough to attempt to use it for some nefarious deed. The bombing sound is no exception. Therefore, we conclude that whoever administered the unique poison to the victim was a layperson, unaware of its telltale properties. <laughs> In other words, someone like you writes a memory memo. Yarr! I, I, I didn't think you were going to go down that line of attack, but it works. It was you who stole the poison from the laboratory that day. It was you who administered it to the unwitting victim. But you quickly realized that there was a terrible mistake. Because the poison caused such, an unusual, caused such unusual symptoms and was so traceable. As you listen in from the far side of the beach, south, thin wall, you learned these facts. But you already given the victim the poison at that time point. It was too late. So you have to plan a disguise your mistake. One of them both stabbed the victim in the back through the reed screen. Attention! But what good that can I possibly do? This is an obvious counsel. The plan was to kill Miss Brett before the poison could take effect. Once in blood, the poison co caused the onset of pupil constriction. But he had hoped to precipitate the victim's death before that happened, had he? Exactly. Because without it, any revealing signs of the new secret poison's use, no one would ever have suspected. This is extraordinary. Yes, the effects of the poison meant it would be too easily identified to the killer to mass its use. While he attempted to do this all by pl which he attempted to do by plunging a knife into the middle of the victim's back. Order, order, order. The argument presented is sound. The court is satisfied that warrants consideration. Does the prosecution have a counter argument it wishes to put forward? Well, um, there are a number of, I mean, yes, I, I counter completely! Objection! The prosecution's evasive response clear, clearly shows that much the same way as he nurtures the remnants of his top down, he has clinged to all the- Oh, bird! Lost. Oh, no! <coughs> Pardon me. Oh gosh, he threw his hat on the ground like, like Frank saw it. Except Frank saw it, he has a tope. Ah, 
You pathetic, useless fuzz, that right? Fallen, who are you calling Fallen? My purging growth is on the road. I don't need a counter-argument. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I, I, I need a drink. It should be blatantly obvious. I stole the poison, you say. Gave it to the victim, you say. Stabbed her, you say. Lots of fine theories. But I don't need a counter argument because you don't have an argument yourself. Where's your evidence? Yes, you make it all sound so plausible, don't you? But without evidence, it means nothing. Whereas, I base my news on facts. Facts? What do you mean? Explain yourself. I mean, what the professor said earlier in his test trial. It's all here. It's in my many memos. Every word, every stuff in the talk, all noted. That's what the show you knew this famous for. It's the power of printed word. Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, wait, no. This is where my pen theory comes in. Yes, this is my... Perfect. Uh, how's that then? Blow the story wide open. See, I... Right to memory model. A mere reporter from the Sharia News. Couldn't possibly have stolen that poison from the professor's laboratory. Ah! But there can't be any question of it. He must have stolen the poison that day. He stole it and used it to kill. And if that's the case, as you've identified, the poison itself is the definitive evidence we need. Because whoever stole it from the laboratory today is a true culprit here. What's your point, you annoyingly handsome country bumpkin? My point is this there's one way that you, Amy Manosai, could have stolen the poison that day. I've heard enough verbal conjecture now, thank you. What the court must be shown is evidence. What proof do you have that this witness stole a poison? Other day in question. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, I think I think it's the pen. The proof, Your Excellency, is this fountain pen. Ah, a fountain pen. How could that possibly be relevant? These magical pens somehow have enough ink to write many thousands of kanji characters. I believe they arrived in another country for the first time some 15 years ago now. Bah! I swear, weasel hair is cal calligraphy brush and nothing else. These new fingle pens are a mere fad. 15 years ago, hmm? There's a, some, something about the statute of limitation. I'm just kidding. Well, I was one of the things man was obviously on my power pen. Such a scourge. Subconscious, I'm and one's, one's work is a wash with words in the blink of an eye. That's right. In fact, the pens have a small reservoir on the barrel. Which the ink is sucked into the nib of the pen in order to write the with letter. With later. What? What is all this stuff in a second? Second ink have? Ah! It's just. It's, and just as it's possible to suck up ink in the reservoir, it's not supposed to. Also, to inject it into the nib again. Of course. My word. Can this really be. Well, anyway, I'll send. You saw that deadly poison before your eyes in the lab laboratory that day? You used your fountain pen, your very life blood, to steal some of it, didn't you? By siphoning the poison up to the nib and, it's, and into the pen's reservoir. I think we got you. More absurdity! That never happened! True, we've heard that there were procedures in place to prevent thefts like this from the laboratory. But would anyone have thought to look inside a fountain pen of all places? No. I'm a little ashamed to say that for fear of offending our guests, such a detailed search would not have been conducted. Well, this is quite startling, I must say. 
I have a hand in the court that this pen was found in the clutches of the victim when she died. In other words, it was dropped at the scene by Mammy Mamazan. So the crucial question is, when exactly was the pen dropped? Are you, are you suggesting? The natural conclusion is that in your haste to, to act, whilst the victim was just distracted for a moment, you drop your pen after you empty the poison from it, for, from it into her glass. Objection! There could be any number of alt alternative explanations. For example, the witness could have been using this pen to write down details in his conversation with the victim. Which was shot by one of her outrageous answers. The pen fell from his quivering hand. Objection! No, that can't be. If it was, how do you explain why the pen was devoid of ink? What? As you can see for yourself, if you examine the evidence, there would be to be no ink present in the reservoir. One newspaper reporter goes to interview someone with nothing in his pen. No, the pen was dropped after the poison was filled. That after the poison that filled his reservoir had been emptied in the victim's glass. <laughs> Witness, what do you have to say in your defense? <laughs> so this is how a modern justice system works, is it? So what if the ink in my pen runs dry? So what if my pencil snaps? I can always call my way back into the game. I have plenty of reserve. What? What do you think you're a Wolverine? <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> you claim that I stuck the poison up at the back pin? That's wild speculation, nothing more. If you thought you could bring down a fine upstanding system with a trick like that, think again. Hmm, it looks like it's gonna take one final decisive blow to finish this matter. I think I know what I'm gonna present. As I see it, the situation is now very simple. It rests upon whether or not this witness did indeed steal the poison on that day in question. And therefore, it all depends on whether or not the defense can prove they did with the evidence. Ha! No such evidence could possibly exist! Objection! Baby mama said, this is how modern justice system works. What? In the courtroom, evidence is everything. Something you would do well to remember. Because we are well past the point of speculation at this stage, I assure you. Very well. Yeah, that's the wrong voice. Very well then. I will call it a pencil to present the affirmation evidence. This is it then. This will be the final piece in this puzzle. Ugh. The defense can prove by means of this item that it was the witness's print used to steal the poison. Take that. Counsel, what is this bottle? This bottle contains a unique chemical region that can identify the poison in question. Ah! Yes, the poison is an entirely new synthesis of alkaloids developed by my colleagues and I. It would be an impossible to chase it by any other method. Or, from another perspective, simply with this chemical region, anybody at all could track for traces of the poison. Uh, 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 raise it? What? One drop of the contents of this bottle on the tip of your fountain pen, Mammy Mama son. Is all we'll take to solve this case beyond all reasonable doubt. <laughs> no, you can't. I won't. Your crimes are bad enough. But at least know when to admit defeat. Your Excellency. The defense requests permission to carry out the tests on the fountain the pen at once. Breakdown time! This isn't my fault! The Empire dropped me to this! Try to hold my head on some nice nation! But by no time! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Sarah! I'm there! We got a Sasano takedown on him. <laughs> Did I do it right? That was a Sasano takedown, wasn't it? Not quite. That was a real Taro takedown.
The instant the first drops of region touched the nib of the fountain pen. It was clearly everyone that present. Oh, he's in su sad defeat. When I started there in the lab, the poison. I just... The devil got a hold of me. And I decided to do it on a whim. I excused myself and emptied out the ink down the sink of the, in the bathroom. You know, in the bathroom. Washing the reservoir out carefully. Yeah. Gotta get that Nintendo Capri Sun reference in there. And then you wave for an opportunity to suck some of the po suck up some of the poison, didn't you? Into your fountain pen. Yes, that's right. Answer me one thing, my mobile son. Why did you steal it? For what purpose? It isn't obvious. Find out what it was made of. <laughs> to find what it was made of and expose it in an article. I mean, it was a secret project after all. Too juicy for a journal like me to pass up. And why did the English woman end up dead? I went into the hut, intending to quiz her on the situation, that's all. As a reporter, a known killer, enjoying full freedom, evading justice by leaving the country. I told her what I thought about it. And she, she just laughed in my face. Oh, what's this? Far Eastern cat, caveman, pu Far Eastern caveman, puppy, purporting to practice journalism. Well, uh, you must know the difference between reporting and listening at always, you ignorant plebeian. What? What did you call me? This country was this pretentious to adopt the system to free press. That's really very depressing. You see our superior ways in the West. Yet you lack the mental cap capacity to emulate them. Get out of here, you off! Get out! And just crawl back into the cave you came from! Oh gosh! She's rude again! That's when I remembered. But the deadly poison I happened to have in my pen at the time. What a terrible tale. In my head, I knew I should have just gotten out as quickly as possible, but I couldn't. I couldn't let her get away with what she'd done, when she clearly had no remorse at all. I suppose it's my journal spirit getting all fired up. I'd like to ask you something. Y yes. You haven't talked about justice. But surely as a journalist, you could have used other means to deliver the justice you sought. There's no justice in the press. Sorry? After that trial nine months ago, I kept digging and digging to find out what had happened in that courtroom. And finally, I discovered the truth. It was a cover-up. That's what it was. What? Uh, a cover-up? What do you mean? I'll remind you of your position, witness. Be careful what you say. Oh, come on! That doesn't strike you as strange. We're certainly not allowed to convict a foreign national. Con consular jurisdiction should never come into it. And yet the puffed-up English woman is going to sail away to sunset as a free woman. The only possible explanation is that, behind the scenes, some deal had gone down between British and Japan. Britain and Japan. What sort of deal? I'd done my research, dug up all the dirt. It was all ready to be published. But know what happened? The editors tore up the article. The amount of the pressure of the government he's made. The government is going to let criminals walk free if they're going to crash the free press. Then what choice do I have but to see justice is done myself? Let's not forget, Mimi Mouse-san. They committed murder yourself, and you tried to lay the blame at the defendant's door. Sorry, but you know better than Giselle Brett. What? 
truth is, you have no reason to talk about justice at all. Hey. I suppose. It would appear that we have reached the conclusion of this trial at last. At least it was much shorter than the first game's trial. Council defense, we are told never heard of. Oh! Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Your Excellency. Just musing in a manly way here. It's almost unbelievable that you. This is your first experience at the Supreme Court. It was an excellent performance. In truth, this very much reminded me of your cousin's exploits. Oh, never heard. Uh, I mean, Ryusuke, you mean? The way he handled the trial nine months ago, and the way he handled this one, gives me hope that we are genuinely entering a new era of justice in this land. It's very flattering, Your Excellency. Any of the defense you put forward today make me feel most keenly that the future of our justice system will be forged by you and your com contemporaries. Thank you. So, Prosecutor Ouchie, do you have any final thoughts? What the heck? Prosecutor Ouchie? Aye. The decision of the Archie clan have been bested by a Galathius not once, but twice! If there was any shred of my former self left, it is whether it died here today. Gosh, your journey your journey to cultural enlightenment sure took a while, didn't it? Silence! Rather than living on insane. No, 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 no! I'll end it all with this blade. For the future, for this is the true path of the Alchism. Oh no 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 no! Alchism. Oh, I well, hope that's the only way in which he'll be modeling himself after the witness. Spring, spring in my top knot. Time is right for farewell. Hope is the last forever. Okay, he's gonna cut his hair. Takasuchi. He's honorable this time. Amen. <laughs> God damn it! Fuck! God damn it, man! God, fuck! This game sucks, man! This game fucking sucks, man! <laughs> fuck! I can't catch the fucking break! Fuck! God, people need to go play Winston for fuck's sake! Now, no, we're going to the finish. Free my bonnie, son. Yes, Your Excellency! I have reached my final verdict. I hereby find you... NOT GUILTY! Court is adjourned. And they never found out about Sato. Well, ho hopefully that didn't come into play later. It probably will. I'm sure it will. It's over. My heart is still pounding in my chest, though. It's all I can do, just to stay standing. Lawyers have such great responsibility, such a great burden to bear. Don't they, Naruhuro-san? Sasato, Sasato! Thank you, thank you so much! You are so dashing in there! Ray, and Father. Honestly, I'm so touched by everything you've. Oh no! I think I'm going to cry! It wasn't easy! Uh, oh, uh, it wasn't easy, but we made it. I was on the verge of tears at the end, too. The only reason I'm still here is because of you! Oh no, I can't take all the credit. I took courage to tell the truth in there. He did wonderfully, Ray. So I would have to say that 
that the congratulations belongs to you. Lissada, don't be so standoffish. Sorry? Her friends equals trials over. So there's no more of this former superhuman nonsense. It's time to celebrate with swagger. Throw caution to the wind. Caution to the What? I'm the great defense lawyer. Real dogs are hard. Never hard I'm taking it out the milk bar tomorrow. Or something. <laughs> right, I see. Now I'll um, think about it, Ray. Anyway, we nearly knocked the wind out of that horrid man. It felt so great. Yes, that was satisfying. It really was. Oh, isn't there anyone else who could, we could throw together? I hope you're not looking at me, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there it is at last. Ray's lovely smile. You fought for your friend to the very last. As your father, I'm extremely proud of you, Defense Attorney Ryo Hatanohoto. Thank you, but I couldn't have done it without your help. Anyway, it's time to bear farewell to Ryotaro, I think. I shall miss him in a way, but back to back to Sasami now. So, I'll never see him again then. A terrible shame. Whoa. Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Oh, yeah, you guys he heard that. Ah, Sasaki sent an inspector Hosanaka. I hope they've been keeping well. <laughs> is it really you? Yes, I had changed my appearance for, well, obvious reasons, I hope. But it's me. Sasaki Makatoba. <laughs> so dashing, so divine. No! Don't worry, Ashley! Don't worry, Ashley! This, 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 Of course, like his son. So confused. So, I remember the first time I ever met him. He was in a prison cell in London. What an extraordinary kind of moment it was that the winning student from Japan found himself in Broden. You have to never heard of skillful defense of the old Bailey, so like his son was free to return to Japan. And now he seems to have earned himself a great fame as an author. Oh, I'm stunned. That's truly impressive disguise. Even I had no idea. I'm a chief inspector of the space craft. Okay, well, no, us. I'm not sure you should be admitted to that, Inspector. Amazing. No woman of many faces, I see. Just two, really. And this was a once in a lifetime event, I hope. Well, I'm not on a patch as you, though, Inspector. Well, I'm a professional, of course. I do worry about Inspector Hosanaga sometimes. I really do. Nine months ago, when he appeared here at the Supreme Court to testify, he was undercover, disguised as the head, as the head waiter of a restaurant. Oh yeah, I forgot he got beat up. Jeez. And then off to a steamship to Great Britain, of course, disguised as a sailor to keep us safe on the journey. But freaking poor, poor Kazuma. Uh, that didn't help you, did it, Kazuma Sama? It's been nine months since, and geez. From my perspective, I have to admit that I have mixed feelings about all this. I mean, now that the truth has been lost forever. What do you mean? Talk about the murder that the English woman committed at the end of last year. Oh, yes, that was an English doctor she killed at the time, it? Dr. Johnny Swelson, yes. Man, I'm very to Japan, personally. The mystery is, why did she kill him? And now that the culprit herself is dead, probably never know the answer. Yeah, we never actually f figured out her motive behind that crime. On the voyage to Great Britain, we had a most unexpected encounter. With Mr. Herlock Sholmes, the great detective, I mean. 
Yes, I have memories to show as well, of course. Ah! My arch nemesis! How like you are saying? Well, according to the stories published about him in the Adventures of Herlock Sholmes, a detective once had a partner who helped him solve crimes. Best friend! That man was an exceptional doctor of medicine by the name of John H. Wilson. What? This is Dr. Wilson? I, I can't believe that this is just a coincidence. I think that the English doctor of medicine killed here in Japan nine months ago. Must have been the friend and partner of Mr. Sholmes. Now that's really true. And the poor girl. I won't ever see her from the fall again. Oh, poor Iris! As you know, I've traveled to Great Britain once myself to study. It was around the time you were born. Yes, Grandmother told me all about it. On returning to Japan, I took up my professorship at the Imperial Yumei University. But I also served another role as an advisor to the government on dip diplomatic affairs. Yes, I was aware of that as well. In that case, I'm sure you can understand that there are some confidential matters I cannot divulge to you. Could you just tell me one thing? Why are you sending me back to Japan? It's been two months now since I returned. When I left England, it's because of an urgent telegram that had, had arrived from Japan. It said that you had collapsed with a high fever and you were growing weaker by the day. That's true. If you like, why are you? Act, what, did you? Were you actually sick, or did you just want her back? What? Where did that news come from? That's why I like to know. Because after that long sea voyage, I found you in fine health, Father. What? Okay. Was there something in Great Britain that you perceived might inconvenience me in some way or harm me? That's really the only explanation I can think of. Do you mean? Do you, do you reserve your most cutting glares for your father's dishonor? Sorry, my dear. I simply can't. Oh, let me go! Oh, jeez, hi! <laughs> Murderer! Listen. So, so, one last thing wasn't enough for you. I got one last thing to say before you take me away, Professor. Me? I know the truth. I know you had a hand in what went on. I'm the, in that visiting student's fate. Visiting student? Giselle Brett, you mean? No, not her. The student of law who left for Great Britain eight months ago. What? Student of law? He must be. Cosmo Summer. What are you talking about? What does any of this have to do with Cosmo Summer? Nobody here in Japan knows anything about it. They don't know about the guy who never. They don't know that the guy never made it to England. They die in that steep ship. They'll never. Ah! What the? Judge, what are you doing here? <laughs> Is this the first time we've seen the judge outside of the courtroom, not in the investigation games? Well, I didn't expect to find him in here. <laughs> what were the. What were you officers playing at? Terribly sorry, Your Excellency. I was coming to tell you that the freak, freak Shaw has arrived, Eugene. It's a great job I came by. Yes, thank you for dealing with him. I'll be there shortly. Oh, um, Your Excellency. <laughs> the trial's over. I'm not Your Excellency anymore. I'm merely your father's friend. Shishiro Jigoku. What? We actually get the judge's name? What? <laughs> okay. And as I may say since the day I saw you last, you, may, you seem to have taken on a more dashing appearance. Oh, he knows. Susato. Did you know all along? I'm gonna start a trial. <laughs> a judge sees everything, Susato. Good, like, you take the risk. If Shishiro had, here hadn't known and, and that, then he'd recognize you. So I had a word in his ear beforehand. As an old friend. So, Sashiro, shall we? 
Yes, having ruled on the case, we now have various diplomatic issues to address. Where did you go, Father? Sorry, my dear. We shall return to, your, to our earlier conversation at a later date. But well done again, both of you. You did admirably. Oh! Thank you very much! What do you think of my sh Shishiro sling, eh? It's been a while since I sent a man flying like that. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Just Shiro Sling. It's like Shiro Sling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Whatever could Father be hiding from me? Hmm. But so Brit about Dr. Wilson. And now it seems, according to the reporter, about Kazuma Summer. Uh. I want to know these secrets. I'm gonna bring this up with the father sometime when nobody else is around. Oh, hi. Oh, um, you're so sad we can talk about Esquire's ass. Uh, can I have a word with. Oh, yes, of course. So, Saki san. What is it? I think perhaps we can make faith that we're meeting again like this now. You see? Is there anything I need to tell you? Huh? I believe. That may be related to the reason why your father summoned you back from England. Oh, this I have to hear. Please, oh, please, Asaki san, please tell me at once. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will! Let you know, what time of was terrible. Curse, I know doubt. Not all anything else I'm worried about. Thank goodness, welcome soon, no harder as far as except, except in. As they secure my freedom, I can't wait to get on a ship back to my homeland. Having arrived in Japan, I just made a report about my experiences in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The next thing I knew, I had a visitor. It was your father, Professor Mikasuma. He wanted to ask me all sorts of things about my father. My father? He's being especially taken with a particular pair of part of the part. Anyway, he left eventually, having thorough, thoroughly quizzed me. But it was the very next day he sent a telegram to you. But it was the very next day they sent the telegram to you asking to you to return to Japan. What? What was it then? The particular part my father was interested, interested in. I don't really know exactly. But do you remember then? Those two terrible cases I was caught up in? Of course, I can never forget. I, I, I don't know what the second case you're caught up in, but I don't. What the? What was. I know one of them. If all the same concern is mainly with the second case. The second one? You mean. What, Mr. Schultz, for. Forbade any of us to talk about in public? What? Which is why the only case involving you that any mem member of the public is aware of is the first. Well, okay! I don't have to listen to what the Ashley detective says. Anyway, the point is, see the case, I'm always looking at all these curious, unanswered questions. The horrific, heinous, heinous case. The case of the haunted lodgings. Oh. The case of the haunted lodgings. You did mention something about that. The case that somehow caused my father to summon me urgently back to Japan? I thought the whole business was over. It seems like I was wrong. Perhaps that was only the start. Perhaps the story is not yet told. So... The mystery of that English woman's death is solved, thank goodness. And having stood in the Supreme Court now, I think I can comprehend a little better. How you must be feeling as you fight for people's freedom in a foreign land, Narohodo-san. But actually, I'm writing to you today because of another matter. I met Sosek-san, and we talked about that second case he was involved in. Father has said nothing to me, but I feel certain of it. That case holds the key to some great unsolved mystery. My notes on the case should still be in the office, tucked away at the back of the shelves on the left. Perhaps you might like to look over them again. Today, for the first time this year, it feels as though summer has arrived. The sky is a brilliant blue. Oh, it makes me long to see you again. 
yours, Sisata. You know, I wonder if that's actually Kazma's grave. Because her father seems to be alright. That would be... That, that would be reasonable. And... Sasato success! Yay! Got a trophy! Uh, we're going, going to go to investigation in the next case. The memoirs of the Clada Kokoro. Episode two. All right. Well, next time on Great Ace Attorney Resolve, we start case two. Thanks for tuning in, whoever said hi for the briefest moments, and anybody lurking. I'm sure there's at least one person still lurking. And with that, I bid you adieu. Hopefully I can get an earlier stream tomorrow, 7.30 PST. 7.30 Pacific Time, uh, I think that's... 10.30... Eastern? Is my math correct? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. 10.30 Eastern. Hopefully I can get that start by then. But with that, thank you for watching the VOD, the, the stream, whatever, if you're lurking. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!